the national anthem. And in a moment... The U.S. Air Force bagpipes. Slowly marching across the lawn near the site. The slow, somber bagpipes playing the mist over the mountain. And the casket is being moved off the caisson as Mrs. Kennedy and Robert Kennedy watch from a nearby limousine. members of the special forces groups, those highly trained men designed to, particularly to handle the so-called limited wars. It was just a couple of weeks ago, on Armistice Day, the president was here to pay tribute to the unknown soldiers and all the dead of the wars, tombs of the unknown soldiers, not too distant from this spot. Two weeks ago today, and the Irish Guard in a salute. Air Force 
one, the presidential aircraft. Again, the Irish Guard. of Ethiopia. <laughs> to his right, separated only by a military officer, President Heinrich Lübke of the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany. Behind Emperor Haile Selassie, Chancellor Ludwig Erhard, who has just held his job for about two weeks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Cardinal Fischer. Let us pray. O oh God, to whose mercy the souls of the faithful find rest, be pleased to bless this grave. And thy holy angels who keep it and loose from the body we bury herein. And of our beloved Jack Kennedy, the 85th President of the United States. Ah, that is so may it grace to me with all the saints who Christ our Lord. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, because he has visited and wrought the redemption of his people, has raised up the horn of salvation to us in the house of David his servant, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets to us from the beginning. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to Abraham, our father, that he would grant unto us, as being delivered from the hand of our enemies, we may serve him without fear. Holiness and justice also be for him all our days. Thou child shalt be called the prophet of the Most High, but thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. To give knowledge of salvation to his people unto the remission of their sins. 
through the vows of the mercy of God, in which the case springs from on high, hath visited us, to enlighten them that sit in darkness, and in the shadow of death, to direct our feet into the way of peace. He can arrest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me, although he be dead, shall live. And everyone who liveth and believeth in me shall not die forever. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. God, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, thy good and good. We forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. From the gates of hell, deliver his soul, O Lord, that he may rest in peace. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. And, O Lord, this message to thy servant departed. That he who in his desires did thy will may not receive the punishment of any misdeeds, and that as true faith that joined them to the company of the faithful here below, thy mercy may make him the companion of the holy angels in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the 
Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I am Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. A generous grant unto him, O Lord. A soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in him. Amen. the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.
the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord be uh, with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour down thy blessing on this light which thou hast created and grant that whoever giving thanks to thee uses it in accordance with thy law and thy will, may by calling upon thy holy name receive to thy health the body and protection of soul and grace to follow in the way of the wonderful man whom we bury here today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. States is laid to rest on a gentle slope overlooking the city of Washington. 